Hi, on behalf of Team Long Division, welcome to LD TV. As we're unable to welcome you to Wakefield this weekend, we're going to bring Wakefield to you. This is the first of three episodes we're screening over the weekend, as well as some one-off content. It's all to raise money for some good causes. Tonight, in partnership with Magic Rock Brewery, we're bringing you a full show by our great friends Knuckle. This was originally recorded back in November at Warehouse 23 and was their largest show to date. We've had some amazing Friday night headliners at Long Division, including The Cribs, British Sea Power and Gang of Four. So it's great to add Knuckle to that list. Please do consider donating to Hoot Creative Arts if you're able to and if you've enjoyed the show. There's full information on our website and there should be links on the whatever platform you're watching this on. Before the music begins, let's have a quick chat with the band. We spend a lot of time writing the songs. That's not true, we write the songs really quickly. Uh, good evening, welcome to the Knuckle Show. Yeah, a lot of the songs that we write are kind of uh, tongue in cheek. But it's really kind of, we come alive in the live shows and really kind of go for it. And it's raucous and raw and sometimes disgusting. Johnny writes a lot of uh, funny, amusing, but also touching words. And it, it's nice when you write lyrics like that, I think, to get a bit of a response back from him and have the crowd join in and laugh and occasionally cry. It's been a mint year for the band. It's probably our best. We've had a really cool tour of Europe around France and Germany. Played to loads of new people, saw lots of new faces. Uh, some I think had checked us out already online, which was nice. Definitely in Germany, some people were singing along, which was cool. And all the gigs, uh, it was so well attended. Right, and all these new like fans, like buying the t-shirts, buying the records, and like in Germany, some people actually bought all the t-shirts, all the records, all the posters, all the merch. The reception we got was stunning, heartwarming. The Long Division Festival this year was a real highlight for us. There were loads of people there. There was as many people outside who couldn't get into the venue as there was inside. Halfway through the second song, the fire doors behind me got pushed open. So I had a look behind and there's like 50 odd people on the road behind. Having people stood out the back watching through the windows was a bit nerve wracking because everyone's looking at your back. It's hard to think about your back when you're playing. All watching and then the place was packed, it was amazing. Uh, it was a really great vibe and people were really getting into it and singing along and it made us feel cool. And there were loads of people trying to get in, people chanting at us in the street after. It was weird, like people singing your songs at the back of you and the front of you. Because it's a good job because I, I forgot the words. So this kind of spurred us on to think maybe we should come back and all the people that couldn't get in and more people can come to the gig. But that was uh, quite special for us. When you've got people stood outside of venue, it's only fair to go back and play another gig where they can all see you from the front angle. Let's go back to Wakey and play this massive gig. So we've got the biggest place in Wakey and we're going to do it for them. The, the kind of band kind of formed early on in Huddersfield. Me and Johnny spent a lot of time in the early years <coughs> doing a lot of boozing. We got some good Huddersfield fans, some like diehard fans, and uh, we didn't want them to like pay for the <laughs> tax. Oh, that's where. So we've got loads of really good ties with uh, Magic Rock in Huddersfield. Brewing. We didn't want them to pay for a shit taxi there and a shit taxi back. And so when we were doing a gig in Wakefield, we wanted everyone over here to be able to come over and see the show. So we, we kind of teamed up with Magic Rock, which is our kind of favourite water and all, our uh, office really. Put on a party bus from Magic Rock to our big gig. They get to Magic Rock, they get a beer. Drinking some Magic Rock. And they get a bus to Wakefield. Getting on a bus, drinking some Magic Rock. Knuckle. Watching the gig whilst drinking Magic Rock. Bus back to Magic Rock. And then probably leaving and maybe going back to Magic Rock for last orders. And I think a lot of them have never been to Wakefield, so I think they're pretty scared about it, but I've told them it'd be okay, because I'm there. We're um, recording a live album there, which is... <laughs> we're going to record the gig, we're really excited about that. It's terrifying and exciting. Um, we're going to get Green Mount to mix it, who've done all the records before. There's some songs on there that we haven't got on a record, and I think that's really cool to be able to hear them and hear the way that we play them live. Hopefully, if we don't fuck up, it's going to sound stunning and then it's going to be filmed as well. Because we're going to give it all of the stuff that we've got and kick out the jams. So hopefully, it sounds good. Pretty daunting really, but it's, it feels kind of fitting that uh, it's come to this point and 
this year, which has been a great year. And uh, so we're going to record it. And then I don't know what we're doing with it. I think you'll have to ask Ben about that because he's more in tune with that kind of stuff. I just turn up and drink other people's beer. Cellar Schniffer, I think it's called. I'm a Cellar Schniffer. Nice to meet you. coming out. We are knuckle.
We do that if you want, if you want. But it doesn't say that on this little bit of paper down here. Sorry, wrong song. My bad.
KFC, Rob killed the deputy. CID and a cooking ball, and your knees not bruised, and your five to throw your left and put your best to put your foe. How you gonna call? Catch the KGB, I got a black and naked and a free CR Broken strings on a shit guitar This damn door's in a CCTV So many ways to see Who's looking at you? Thank you So, I'd just like to thank the uh, other bands played tonight, Macroscope, fucking absolutely stunning. Rosie doing a Memory Cry. And shaking it all down, man, fuck me. They have raised the bar high tonight.
of my own imagination in the sun and I feel like I'm living on the run We built this city with our bare hands The concrete spells our name The colors, the lemon head But what's wrong with being gay? Anyway, rewind the feeling and reject the pain. Rewind the feeling and reject the pain. Well, in the train as I stole from my cousin. Stone 
Thank you very much. This, uh, see this, cuz. This next song's a love song. It's called, Have You Ever Been Out For One Beer? So you said to your lass, I'm going out for one beer with lads, right? Um, and then four days later, you turn up, dishevelled and um, feeling sorry for yourself. Emotional. So this is a love song called, uh, Baby, I'm a Dickhead. And it's to all the dickheads out there. There's a lot of dickheads, I like being a dickhead. A nice dickhead. When we met, we were alone And there was no one there to see All this love we had inside But there was nothing in between I got you And you got me Whoa. I got you But baby, I'm a dickhead Because I drink too much I drink too many drugs I know Maybe I'm a pisser
Thank you very much. So all these people here tonight, I love that so much, but uh, <coughs> there's one lad who's, who couldn't be here. And that's my little cousin Jordan, who sadly passed away a few years ago. Um, and it's his birthday today, so... All, all raise your glasses to our Jord Jordan Firth. Happy birthday, bud. But I'm sure, sure, yeah. I'm sure he's looking down on us and, um, yes, lads. And this is a song for our Jordan anyway. It's called uh, Meet Me at the Station. So 
Uh, this next one's called Life is Hard When You're Soft Inside. We've got some merch, we've got some t shirts, we've got some posters with my dog on it. Um, and buy an album, because we, we, need, we need to eat. Ben's got 25 kids, him and his brother. They don't even know about them, so uh, yeah, uh, buy some merch so we can eat and take drugs. <coughs>
Yeah, there's some more on the list, don't worry. You don't have to say it. There's fucking loads left. I'm knackered. So, uh, my favourite job I ever had was when I was on the door. I was on the door for quite a few years, which was good because the uh, government paid for me to write fucking songs. But, uh, so I, I wanted to dedicate a song to being on the door. Now, now it's called Universal Credit. It sounds shit, but do you remember when you said, what do you do? You're on the door, fucking hell, he must be cool, he's on the door. I remember my little door book. I used to write girl, girls' uh, phone numbers down that I pulled. So it is a song called The Doll Years. We've not played it for a while. Thank you for um, tonight's been very special. It's been a, it's been a great year for us, and uh, we, could, we couldn't have done anything without you a lot. You know, buying the records and. Uh, She doesn't want me She moved away To Cornwall What I'm supposed to do She says I'm nuts She doesn't need it I stay home And take my medication Girl Eject her seat It took me off my feet Yeah Eject her seat, it took me off my feet. I got a bag, there's nothing in it. I stay in and watch some television. Like what, Johnny? Coronation Street. She's got a job, she really hates it. But she knows she's got a baby. She took me off my feet, yeah. He checked her seat. She took me off my feet. Ooh. 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 Ooh.
Because we moved to France, we got engaged, we found a dog, we came back, we got an house, and now I love her so much, and hopefully she loves me so much. So thank you, Falmouth.
Ben Wallbanks. What a dude.
now. Thank you.